find out when I pick up the club. I'm also a person out there, I retire fighter. I did UIC for a living. I understand what the game of living well, what it's all about. So what's your inspiration behind starting your own athletic club? Because I've always seen people, always feel, I look at people the way they live their life. They have everything. One thing they don't have is how they maintain their life. It's just like driving a car and not taking it for service. If you love that car so much, that's the reason you should take that car for service. If you love yourself so long, you want to live a longer life. That's why you should live a healthier life. And would you say you've always been healthy? I've always been healthy. I was born. I was born a very big kid. I I, I was born 14 pounds, uh, 12 ounces. I was a big, big kid. But I've always understand that living healthy is the best way to survive. So I I started I started doing this from my early age, from the time I I can remember. And I just took it and uh, I saw how I felt. The very first time I went to the gym, I, I knew and I saw how I felt that this was something I should go back and, and do it more, one more time. And I've never stopped doing it since. And what's your favorite way to stay in shape? Favorite way is my way of saying the way you eat. That's number one. I can give you every, every exercise on earth. And you go back and go back to your old habit, go to McDonald's and eat all your cheeseburger. It's, it doesn't do any good. That's one step forward, ten step backwards. How you eat, what you eat, when you eat. Some of the things that destroy us, that kills us, is something we love most. The food that kills us, the food we love most. That's how. That's what makes us gain weight. But you have to learn to eat moderate. And then next thing you have to do cardio. If you can't, if you can't come to, the, if you can't do anything, you can go for a walk, go for a brisk walk. Do it at least two, three miles a day. Not just say what I did when you were at work. That means you take your time out, you, go, you get home, you take off your clothes, you wear your, your sneakers, and this is something, because your brain identifies that as, as your workout. It's something different. You want your brain to identify that you're doing something different, not what they are used to you doing. And is there an age limit to how old you can be to be healthy? No, we know, we know from science now, Age has no limit. You can actually reverse aging if you walk out. Because our, our cells don't die, they just go dormant. They just go to sleep. So you can, re, you can wake them back up and they start to do it. I have a 90 year old guy that, that comes to my gym and he's, he, does, he does machines sometimes that even a 20 year old guy, they can't even do it. So it just tells you there's no age limit. Even though he has Alzheimer's, He's probably the most healthy Alzheimer's person on earth. All right. Well, thank you so much, Roland. Um, we made the food today for the fitness gym, so we were trying to do something a little bit healthy, but also something that was um, fit around the owner, which he wanted. He wants you to be able to eat what you want with exercise. So we did a little something fun, but also healthy. Can you talk a little bit about the meals we're seeing today? Um, so today you're seeing um, a little cracker. It's a waffle cracker. And then it's a take on breakfast. So I took a pork belly and glazed it with maple and then put like, because peaches are in season, we did like a peach compote on top. So it's like a bite of breakfast. And then we did an avocado toast since it's really popular in California. Avocados are fresh right now. So we did that with burrata cheese and a little balsamic drizzle. Yeah, and then um, my favorite thing to eat right now is pokey. So I did a little take on that with a rice cracker, um, crab, and um, a seaweed salad. Yeah. Now, what would you say to people that say it's hard to eat healthy? Um, I think it's um, easy as long as you have a little guidance. So I think as long as you go to the market and stick to your list, <laughs> then you'll be fine. Yeah. So what made you want to become a health chef? A healthy, healthier chef? Um, I think right now my personal goal is to be more healthy. So now I've been creating more dishes that are less on the French side, what I used to classically be trained as to cook. So right now I'm focusing on really seasonal flavors. So um, we go to farmer's markets, we take like fresh veggies, fresh 
peaches, fresh, you know, everything. So, yeah. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us? Yeah, um, I'm on Instagram right now as Something Good LA. I have Facebook and we're working on Twitter. So, yeah. Of course, so a Slim Shoe Cosmopolitan is essentially a new ready-to-drink, low-calorie cosmopolitan. Um, it's all produced and bottled in France. It's all French ingredients. It has French vodka, cognac, cranberry, lemon, orange, no artificial sweeteners or any syrups. Um, so it's actually low-cal because we don't add that artificial stuff. So it's a new, it's a kind of unique product because most um, low-calorie you know, products in general, whether it's a drink or a food product, they have that artificial um, sweetness to it. So we actually use the cognac to naturally sweeten the drink, but also of the alcohol alcohol content and keep it all you know natural but still very refreshing and light not syrupy um and it's ready to go so you don't have to mix it with anything you just serve it chilled and have some fun shake yeah so if i went to have a drink would i be okay to keep interviewing after or would i have to sit down uh, it depends on how much you have you know what i mean if, i mean don't overdo it and everybody's tolerance is different i always say i have low blood pressure so i get drink really fast so um it just depends on um it depends on your tolerance but it's 15 percent alcohol so i mean it is it's definitely in there and i've met a lot of people who definitely say it sneaks up on you so you yeah, those are the best ones. I know. Oh, my God. They're so fun. I love that where you're like, oh, whoa. You know? So, yeah, it's a really, really nice because it's most things like you can pop open are just like beer and wine. So it's nice to be able to pop open a cocktail but not have all that sugary stuff in there. So it's a really fun new drink. And the whole, like, you know, the whole Slim Chic vibe and the style, it's something that we're definitely, like, trying to emphasize, you know? Yeah. Now, you said it's new. Are there any different flavors, or is it just like a tester? Oh, you know what? We're actually coming. So we are new. We've only been in stores for like six months. We're in Bedmo and Total Wine um, all over California. We are coming out with a lemon drop in approximately two months, we think. That's the timeline. Um, you know, people really like our original Cosmopolitan, so we want to come out with something that's also fruity, citrusy, but also um, very refreshing. So we decided to come out with a lemon drop. So that's all being in the works. We're talking, you know, to France, and it'll be out soon. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have any social media that you want to share with Yes, us? of course. So Slim Chic Drinks um, at, uh, on Instagram and also on Facebook. We're Slim Chic Drinks. Yeah, and our um, website is www.slimchic.com. Right, well, yeah. I'll make sure to check it out. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank it was great you. talking to you.